Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we have the Law of Attraction Planner, the daily and the weekly to get through. Uh, these are pretty extensive planners and what they house inside of them. So this may be a little bit longer of a review considering that I have to also get through a daily layout and a weekly layout. But the basic parts are repeated in both of them in the front. So let's just get in to this right away. Let's look at the weekly. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the band, but I wanted you to see how your planner comes. It comes with this band on it. This is a 12 month academic planner. You can find them on their website, which I will link down below or on Amazon also. This is their beautiful rose gold cover. They let me pick my color and it is just, it's really beautiful. And you have these great landmarks from around the world. And it says in the cover, I am filled with gratitude and kindness for another day on this earth. And to me, that kind of sums up what their entire planner is about. And around the whole circle, it says, I am grateful for all blessings coming my way. I am getting healthier every day. I am open to receive wealth in many ways. I am loved. I am safe and all is well. I am beautiful. I love and accept myself for who I am. Basically, what they have written all around this circle right here are your affirmations. So it is really a beautiful planner cover. And the back of it, because their main company is called Freedom Mastery, that is on there. It's a beautiful cover. It comes with a band that works great on the planner, just like that. That's how it looks. It feels beautiful in your hand. It has a nice feel to it. And you have an accordion pocket, which functions great at the back. And then we open your cover. You get some stickers right here. You get some discount cards to share with friends or if you're doing another order. And they give you these stickers with both planners. So you have um, meditation, exercise, pet, eat healthy, finance, holiday, movies, and travel. And then you have a dentist, you have a coffee shop, you have a clean doctor, medicine and vitamins, idea, grocery shop, and read. If you like to add color to your planner, I think their stickers are really cute. They go with their color scheme and it's nice that they come with their planner. Um, then there's more. You have a salon, spa, give back, dinner, shop, important birthday, important call. Then you have some really beautiful rose gold um, foiled ones here with just some motivation, but also some fun like road trip. And so those are really pretty stickers. You have one page of those, and then you have one page of these. These are like your thin label stickers, but they say I am grateful for, shopping list, important idea, books to read, my victories, urgent, and to delegate. So I think these are very useful functional stickers and that they are also made um, beautifully. So that's a little extra that comes with your planner. I just noted in here what page my pen test was on so I could remember that. So that's what that is in case I'm looking for it and can't find it. Um, in the beginning, they have this quote from Gandhi. Keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behavior. Keep your behavior positive because your behavior becomes your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values. Keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. And that is how their planner starts out. All right. Now, I will say, um, okay, you also get this big bookmark um, with your weekly planner. And what it is, is it's telling you a free gift you can claim from when you buy this. Go to lawofattractionplanner.com. You get a free video mini course with like all these tips and guidance you need. Definitely you get a free video mini course coming with this planner. They also have a really uh, good helpful video on their website. And so I will link their website down below. And then on the back right here, you have a 10 minute manifest morning manifestation routine. This is tracking your progress and setting up your planner. So these are the main things to do to set up your planner and you can see if they're done. 
And this I think is really cool because you can refer back to this. You can use this bookmark in your planner if you want or just have this in an easy place to grab um, if you want a 10 minute morning manifestation routine right here in seven steps. So this bookmark comes also. Then it starts out my life statement, um, how I would love my life to be my vision statement, how I want to contribute to this world. And then this is just your nameplate this planner belongs to page. Okay, this is something that I think is really, really helpful. It's a planner index. So you can, if you write something down or make an important list, you can write the pages that you wrote it down on and what it was about. You know, what were your notes about? What was the subject about? So you can go back and find that in your planner later. I think having this planner index is really ingenious and super helpful. You will notice that pink is a main theme color in their planner here, along with just their black and white. Okay, here is your law of attraction roadmap. Okay, basically these are the eight big steps that they outline for you. They have a really good video on their website and good information. There is no way I can cover everything in this video, um, like just all the information they give you on their website. So I would definitely go look at that. You have um, oh, step one is awareness and self-discovery. Then you make a mission and vision statement. You set big goals. You create a vision board and life statement. You make a clear strategy. You take action, and that means your monthly action plan and your weekly action plan. You feel good and manifest fast, and then you reflect and celebrate. They tell you the page numbers that go along with each one of these steps, and then they show you in between kind of the steps to get to that next step. And like they said, for full details and examples on how to complete every step, you check out their website, and that will be linked below. So they are not leaving you hanging with all this um, setup information, you can go to their website and get lots of support and help there. All right, so these are questions to empower your day. They say answer these questions every morning in your mind on a piece of paper or on a piece of paper. Visualize your answer and focus on how you feel. So these are like your 10 empowering questions for every day. These are your evening power questions. So I'll just read you a few to give you an idea. Like, what am I proud about in my life right now? What am I grateful for in my life right now? What am I enjoying most in my life right now? So you go through these quietly in your mind every morning. You don't even have to write them down, okay? And then these are your evening power questions. What have I given today? In what ways have I been a giver today? What did I learn today? How was my energy vibration today? How can I improve? So those are your evening wrap-up questions. This is like your big layout, which I feel like kind of is a reference page that you're going to come back to a lot in this planner. These are your affirmations. So I like that they're giving you all these affirmation ideas in which maybe you can write your own personal affirmations to say every morning from these to help you. And they show you the emotional vibration that each affirmation comes from. And then these are the things that you want to take time to do every day. Visualize daily, meditate daily, spend time in nature, and accept and let go. These are your action steps to feel better and increase your emotional vibration. So they give you these specific action steps, okay? And so all these categories line up, okay? And here are specific action steps. And for all energy levels, okay, self-care, giving back, and entertainment. And they give you ideas in each one of those categories. Just like under self-care, there's say yes, eat and drink healthy, do yoga, go for a walk, pray, practice mindfulness, get good sleep. These are just good things to reference back to. Giving back, give five compliments to others, practice an act of kindness, practice self-love, give someone a hug. Do charity work. Say I love you to the people you love. Okay? So basically, this is a reference page, which you're going to be coming back to a lot. And then, these two pages are why I created this planner. This is from the creator of this planner, and going on into these two pages. Um, 
And I would definitely read all this because it explains why this planner was created. Um, and it helps you understand the planner better. So I will show you where I actually read it and highlighted stuff. Studying up for this review um, was in the smaller daily planner, but the exact same information is in the smaller daily planner. It is just smaller. So all the pages that we just looked at, they are in the daily planner also. They are just smaller. So it's the exact same pages. And so um, one of the main things that is in here is the creator of this planner said, my mission is to help millions of people around the world increase their emotional vibration. That way you can feel good about yourself, follow your heart, and create true freedom in your life. So you will understand the thoughts behind this planner and why it was created if you read through these pages in the beginning. So now you're getting into the work pages of the planner. Awareness and self-discovery. Most important life questions. To do this exercise, use a timer and give yourself a maximum of 90 seconds for each question. What would I want to experience in life if time and money were not an issue? How do I want to grow? What do I want to contribute to this world? Who am I? Why am I here? Where am I going? How do I want to be remembered when I am gone? If achieved, if I achieved all of my life's goals, how would I feel? How can I feel that along the way? What is most important in my life? What do I value the most? What am I the most passionate about? What brings me the most joy and sense of peace in my life? What does a successful life look like for me? What do others most admire in me? And then we go on, what are my top 10 achievements in life? Then you de define and craft your vision statement. They walk you through a step-by-step. -step. Okay, then define and craft your mission statement. Then you have goal setting. This is a really interesting page because I was like 50 goals, what? But you read up here and it says, if there was no limit to what you could do, be, buy, or become, what would you do in the next 20 to 50 years? If you could not fail, what would you do? Do not be realistic and do not set SMART goals, which are the specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time-based goals. Instead, set big goals and big visions for your life. List 50 top goals that you want to achieve in all areas of your life. Health, relationships, work and business, fun and recreation, money, personal growth, spiritual. Um, so they take you through some exercises which I have never seen in other planners, ever. This is way more than a planner this is like a life changer. If you are looking to really work on all these emotional and spiritual areas of your life, then this might be the planner for you. Uh, they have this mind map of creating harmony on all levels. Then you have um, circle or highlight your five most important one-year goals. Celebrate success and reward yourself for progress. Get rid of blocks and distractions. Like I said, once you watch their videos and you read some more on your website, you will see they help take you through this. Okay, my journey. Then you have all this to fill out in these different categories. Spiritual, personal development, relationship, career, business, financial, health, free time, and family. Where am I now? Where am I going? And how do I get there? In all those categories. And this is called your My Journey page. Then you have a full look at year at a glance, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 21. All right. Then from this page that you just filled out, your My Journey page, you're going to go more into depth with that. You have an I love my life. I am so grateful for my most important life goals. So this all folds out. It's into a big fold out. And then you create your life statement from that. And there's this fold in page I didn't show yet. How will I make that happen? My goal. What are the major steps to make this happen? And your goal in each category. I know all of this seems really overwhelming, probably from seeing it right here. Um, but I can tell you if this is something that you want to work on, if this is something that interests you, don't be scared away by feeling like it is you know, too much. If it's something you're ready to invest time in yourself for this, then take a look at their website and watch their extensive videos. And, um, and it's really broken down to where you don't need to sit down and do all of this at one time. This is just your setup for your planner and it doesn't have to be all done at once. So then you have strategy. 
which is your skills, habits, and people. Skills I want to master to achieve my goals. Habits I want to change and learn to achieve my goals. Who am I surrounded by? Who will keep me accountable? And what can I delegate? Create a new supportive story. So they, they give you some prompts for that. Then you have another mind map page. Chunk bigger goals into smaller goals. Make a mind map for your daily action plan. Then you go into your monthly views. Okay, so that's all your work done in the beginning. Then it coordinates with your monthly views. So because it takes you to your action steps and everything down here and your desired goals this month. So it's taken into your weekly and monthly views. This is an eight and a half by 11. I believe I haven't even told you guys that. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. No, that's only 10. Um, that's like 10 inches and a seven and a half. So it's a little bit smaller than eight and a half by 11, but it's plenty of room. Um, they make your calendar where you have rectangle boxes up here. Your holidays are put in in very light gray, not taking up too much room in your day. And then you have all this room down here for your work. So goals for July, reward if achieved, feel good intention, skills, habits to learn, desired goals for this month. Why? Why? You're going to write your why for each goal. And then reward if achieved. Action steps to take. Top priority tasks to complete these desired outcomes. Right there. And so these coordinate with your desired goals this month. Ideas, gratitude, victories, notes, project flow chart, mind map. So whatever you want to use that section for, it's a dot grid. Then, so you have your monthlies. And then the weeks follow the months, right, right off, okay? So here is what your weekly layout looks like. You have your goal of the week, reward if achieved. You have this week's priorities. You have top priority, priority, and errands and tasks to delegate down at the bottom. You have a quote every week. And then you have your look. Your week starts on a Sunday. And I forgot to point out, your monthly spread starts on a Sunday and your week starts on a Sunday. So that's a little bit different because most time weekly start on a Monday, even when your monthly start on a Sunday. This weekly starts on a Sunday and you have today's goal. You have a little gift icon. You have priorities, one, two, three. You have 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. And every half hour you have a line. Every half hour from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Your day is kind of like from 5 a.m. to noon is light gray to break it up. From 12.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a darker gray because that's kind of like the second half of your work day, you know, maybe. And then 6.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. is a dark gray to kind of denote three sections of your day. You have eight water glasses. If you want to keep track of your drinking your water, you can just cross one of those off as you do that. You have a to separate to-do list down here, separate from your this week's priority list. You have top priorities to do and priority. Then you have a habit tracker down here in which they give you that three habits to start with. Gratitude slash love, meditate, and exercise to do every day. And then you have um, five other habit slots to fill in for any habits you want to focus on. So I'll give you a little closer up view of that. Then... Um, you have another just free space down here to be able to do whatever you want to with. Okay, so that is how all your weeks are laid out. The exact same. Then, um, at the end of your month, you have a reflect on your month every month. Okay, celebrate your top 10 achievements. What did I learn this month? Distraction slash mental block slash fears. How did I make myself feel good? what did not happen and why. And this is your was I in harmony. How many hours of exercise did you have? Total expenses, money saved, self-help, time spent with family. This is basically charting your time to see how you spent your time that month. People I learned from and who inspired me, what actions can I take to improve? What are the greatest insights that I have gained over this past month? How do I feel about my progress this month? How did I stay in the flow of allowing and enjoying the journey regardless of the outcome? 
What obstacles or fears did I encounter inside myself? What did I learn from watching my emotional vibration daily? What was the most common negative emotion? How did I accept, let go, and move up the emotional scale? How did I fully enjoy whatever what I whatever I was doing this month? Was I really here or was I just showing up? How can I be more present? So what I get the most from this planner is it, um, somebody wrote this, I think, um, in my Instagram when we were discussing this planner. They said, this planner really holds you accountable. And that's how I feel also. You don't just um, make up random goals and write down where you want your life to go and what things you want to happen and then just leave it. Like you are constantly on a daily and weekly basis checking in, digging deep, and really holding yourself accountable for the things you say you want to happen in your life. Then in between each month, you have a two-page spread of a really tiny dot grid of ideas and notes, okay? And then you go into your next month, like goals for August. So this is August. Your month is written in that little goals for box. Then you have August, and then you go right into your August pages, okay? And that is the flow of how this planner goes. After every month, you have a reflect on your month, two page spread, and then you have your ideas and notes, two page spread, and then you go into the next month of September. This is an academic year planner. So then we are going to end in June of 2019. When June ends, then we have our same reflect on our month, ideas and notes, and then we have a reflect on our year page. So it goes more extensively into reflecting on your year and then designing your next year right here. Then you have a huge amount of note pages in this planner. Let me show you. All dot grid, all this tiny dot grid. So it is a really small dot grid. And then I forgot to mention this, but you have page numbers in this planner, which helps you with being able to index if you wrote something important on a page. That goes with the index at the front, which I really love. And you have all these note pages in this planner, except for the very back here are some instructions to help you use this planner, which even though they have videos on their site and instructions on their site, I think it's really nice that the planner came with how to use this planner. And it literally takes you through every single setup page in this planner and tells you how to use it. If you don't wanna to go to their website, it's all right here. These pages are also perforated and tear out. So if you want to take some of this bulk out of your planner, it's really nice that they made these perforated. You can tear out the, all these instruction pages. It also might make it easier to work from. Personally, for me, I would tear them out because then I could be working on the same page in the front of the planner and where it's giving me instructions for that page. So they take you through every single page in this planner and they show you, you know, how they fill it out. As an example, they even fill out um, these sample pages for you guys for the months and for the weeks. So I think that is a really good tool. I like that they're perforated and you can take them out. Then some tips on better manifesting right there. And then your planner has ended and it has a nice thick page at the end. So that is your weekly dated academic. And you also have two very nice thick ribbon markers right here in rose gold and gray, which can help you mark, of course, your month and your week that you're in. And they're plenty long, so you can they work well to pull out of the page like that because if people make ribbons too short, they won't work. But you can mark your month and your week you're on with the two ribbons. So I definitely think two ribbons is necessary and it's a great thing. To have in this book. Here is our pen test for the weekly planner. So this is 100 GSM paper. This planner is actually called um, a B5 for the size of it and it is $35.95. Okay. They also have a smaller weekly which is an A5 which is $23.95. So they do have that option of having a smaller weekly. 100 GSM paper it does not have any ghosting bleeding problems. I will show you here. I wrote in it with all my standard um, pens that I use. There is the back of the page. 100 GSM paper is substantial. It's great paper. 
Any planner that I've ever had with 100 GSM has never had any problems. So there is no substantial ghosting and absolutely nothing bleeding through. So really nice paper. And I tried all my normal pens plus highlighters. So let's look at that. Let's look at the back of that page. Um, this really dark highlighter almost tries to bleed through, but it doesn't even bleed through. But So I think you can definitely use highlighters in here. That one was just a really color saturated one and quite dark. The blue one doesn't show through at all. So also let's mention while we're into this, um, they have undated weekly options also on Amazon. So that's an option. And um, so you can check Amazon and their website for all the different options with different covers and what's available there. Okay, now we're gonna get into the daily. I picked the same rose gold cover. It has the same two ribbons that come with it. Um, this is your daily size in an A5. And this is an undated daily. First, I just wanna show you the pen test though. Your daily is a two page spread for every day, an undated daily. Here are all my pens. It's the same 100 GSM paper in the weekly. Uh, this one is $29.95 right now on Amazon. They also, of course, have it on their website, which will be linked below too. They do have an option that I am not showing you. They have a one month reusable planner that you can write in with a friction pin and then stick in your microwave for the heat to clear the pin. Um, so that's an option you can look at if you're interested, that's $16.95. Um, so let's look at this pen test. The pens, once again, have absolutely no problems. Nothing is showing through or ghosting. It's a really good 100 GSM paper. So you can rest assured that this paper is great. In the beginning of the daily, it has everything exactly the same as the weekly. You have the same things to work from, okay? But in the daily, one thing is done a little bit different here. Um, you have a reflect on your last 90 days and design your next 90 days since you're going in a daily format. Then you have your two-page ideas and notes spread, okay? And then you have design my next 90 days, reflect on your last 90 days right here. So this planner, since it's an undated daily, you have your 90-day reflections all right here at the front. So each 90 days, you would go up there to work on those. And you have all six months. This is a six-month undated daily. You have all six months of your monthly spread right up front. So these are all six months of your monthly spread right after those 90 days um, reflection and designing your next 90 days. I need to correct myself on this. I gave, I kind of got mixed up and gave you the wrong information on how many pages. You have six monthly spreads in this, so you can plan ahead. But your daily pages, you only have 90 daily pages in here. So this will only be enough dailies for you to use for three months if you're using it every day, okay? Um, but you do get a six month calendar spread to be able to plan ahead, but this will only last you 90 days, three months if you use the daily pages every day. But it is undated, so it does give you flexibility in that. But I wanted to make sure that you guys understood that. So it says this month's goal, and I would write in you know the name of the month there, and it has the exact same layout as your full size bigger weekly. It is just smaller um, for the undated daily format, but the monthly layout is the same. You have a box to write in your day number right there. And you do have five lines here, so you will not have to be splitting any of those boxes for any months that have five weeks. So all six of your monthly spreads are here. Once you get through your six monthly spreads, you go into your reflect on your week one, reflect on your week two. So your weekly reflections are all grouped together at the front, okay, for your daily. They're all numbered for your whole daily. All your weekly reflections are up front. Okay, you have weekly reflections for up to 12 weeks up here up front. Then you get into your daily pages. Okay, you're gonna write the date up here. You have today's goal, re goal reward if achieved. What am I grateful for or excited about? Three things. This is for one day, of course, a two page daily spread. What will I do to feel happy today? Today's to-do list, top priority, priority, 
errands and tasks to delegate, quote of the day, affirmations for today. And then you have 5 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Every single half hour has a line. Then you have a positive habit creator chart down here. Victories today. What did I learn today? How did I love myself today? How did I love and give today? What did I appreciate today? How can I improve tomorrow? Improve your vibration. What emotions did I feel today? What thought and action led to this emotion? Why? How can I improve? And then you have a huge space for journals, ideas, notes, and mind maps every day. And once again, just like your weekly, in the back of this planner, you have outlined all these pages how to use this planner. For every page in this planner, they thought out an example page for you. They walk you through it and show you, you know, how they designed that page to be used. These are all perforated once again, so you can tear out these instruction pages in the back. Then you have a full map of the world in the back of this daily. Top 20 places I love to visit. And you have 20 slots up there on top. And a world fold out map. That's kind of cool. And then on the back, you have just a US map right there. And then you have your same accordion pocket, like in your big weekly, functions great. You have your same band, like in your big weekly. You have all your pages right here, all your daily pages grouped together. And then at the very end, you also get a pretty good amount of note pages. Just like in your big planner, they are all the small dot grid. It says journal on the first one, but then it's just blank. Your pages don't say anything. And then you go into your instructions. You also get two good ribbons in this planner to mark your month and your week. And that is your undated daily. One thing that I did not mention yet is your bigger planner is um, has a cover. It is not hard, so it's flexible. But I feel like it's pretty thick and it's definitely going to hold up well. But um, it is a flexible cover. Your daily smaller planner is a hardback. It is completely hard. It is not a flexible cover. So it's a really nice hardback cover like a bound book. So that. The main thing that the Law of Attraction Planner says is follow their eight scientifically proven steps to increase productivity and create happiness in life. This was, I will say, um, a challenging review for me because I feel like these planners hold so much information that it's hard for me to explain it in a video that's not three hours long. So I tried to fit all the important information in here without being too long-winded. Um, but I hope that I got across the point of this planner. I hope that it was a good introduction to what the law of attraction planner is about. And if you use the law of attraction planner and you love it, I would love to hear about it in the comments down below. And I would love to hear what you love about it. Specifically, what are your favorite parts? Share with us. Those of us who have not used it, we can learn from you. Thanks for watching today, guys. And bearing with me on this little bit longer video, I was really happy to be able to share the Law of Attraction Planner with you because it has been one that has been requested many, many times since I started my channel over a year ago. And so I'm glad I was finally able to bring it to you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy planning. Bye-bye.